Right, what we've got here is a Ford Focus 2013. It's got the one litre EcoBoost engine. And what we're going to do today is replace the this, it's called a degas pipe. And this is the notorious pipe that cracks and fails. I think it breaks about here, gets brittle because it gets red hot and then dumps the water out and then you lose all the coolant to the engine the engine overheats and it's knackered basically it's goosed, you're looking at a fortune to replace it so what they've come up with, Ford is, is to replace this with this, this new, these new pipes that's one of them that's the uh, that's the part numbers for that one, you can have a look. And just give us a minute. That's the part numbers. There you go. For that one, that's a different one. And I'll show you where they go. Also, here's a schematic, you can see that, of how they go, from Ford, right, let me show you what's going on, right, this one, you take that one out, take that one out you take it off from there take it off from the top of the turbo turbo return take that off and you take it off Right, you remove all that and you replace this you put this one into there and this one goes all the way back to it should go around that, I'll do it properly eventually that goes into there That's that one, there's two. This one, this one goes from the coolant, bottom of the coolant expansion bottle there. You connect that to that, that goes into there. Obviously, you take all these pipes out to get some. So that one, this one goes at the top of the return line for the turbo. So they've done away with that plastic nonsense because uh, this stuff doesn't crack or anything, it's like an updated update. This one, this end, goes where the coolant line comes down into there. This one, that's where this goes. You take that out and you put this one in. And it does away with all that other stuff. It takes take you about half an hour. And that's about it. I would strongly recommend you get this upgrade because... Like I said, I've done too many of these with loads of engine blow-ups because of this, the, it losing coolant. There's no warning lights on the dash. It literally just dumps the water out, overheats and stops. I've done loads of these EcoBoom engines, uh, EcoBoost engines. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.